we will talk here about the unit testing I will add a project to my solution to be a test project I will call it calc unit testing and then click OK Okay, test project has been added. We'll now delete the unit testing. I will do another one now. Okay, delete it. Now go beneath changes to chicken the unit testing project. Click yes and successful. Now I will gonna add a unit testing, but I will generate it from my math logic class. I will generate it for the add, right click, create unit test, and I will say generate for the add function. Now I'm going to see the add test, which tests the add function. I will move this comment statements now and put some values instead of the zero move all of this make this one and two equal three okay everything looks looks fine Now we'll go to the test menu and go to the windows to get the test view. By opening test view, I will must click on refresh and add test appears. So now let's run it. It says to me that there's something wrong. Oh yeah. We need to remove this line and now let's run again. And it passed. There's other feature called code coverage, which is an, am an amazing feature if you're using unit testing. So I will go to the local settings. Okay, and click on code coverage. It should tell me how much of code I have covered with my unit tests. So, yeah, I have selected now, close it, and now we'll run again the unit test and it pass. Right click now, you will see the code coverage result. Now, in the results of the code coverage, there is a problem. This problem is because we didn't configure the code coverage yet. So, go back again to the local settings, click Diagnostic, then Code Coverage, and Configure. We need to tell it which DLL to look at. So, I will choose the Math Logic. This is the main one that I want to check if I'm covering with my unit testing or not. So click OK and apply. Close. Run the test again and right click it. Choose code coverage results. And now it tells me how much of the code I have covered. If I go now to the calc method, it says subtract function is not covered by 100% and the add is covered by 100% this is very good if you have a lot of functions and you want to make a good use of unit testing 